London's Eastern and Central European high flyers say they are in the city to stay. They came for the economic opportunities the UK capital has to offer, and the financial downturn has done little to diminish the city's allure. When Poland, Hungary and six other former communist states joined the European Union back in 2004, the UK was the only large country to immediately open up its labour markets. London's growing economy, vibrant cultural life and tolerant society attracted some of East and Central Europe's best and brightest professionals. Since then, the UK has been hit with the worst economic crisis in a generation, and four years on, it is struggling to return to growth. By contrast, many Eastern and Central European economies have rebounded quickly from the downturn. This has persuaded many lower-skilled migrants to return home. Yet London remains the place to be for many Eastern and Central European entrepreneurs and professionals. I am Hungarian. I co-headed the corporate practice um, in the Budapest office of another major international law firm. But because I always wanted to be a truly international transaction lawyer, um, I moved to New York and continued practicing law in the New York office of my then firm. And at the time when we felt that it's time for us to move back to Europe, London being another sort of major international financial center seemed to be the right compromise and place for both myself and my husband. As Eastern and Central European professionals become more established in the capital, they are seizing opportunities to capitalize on London's status as an international city. The Polish City Club organizes talks and networking events for Polish professionals in the capital. We have the previous migrations of people who successfully established their community and their network here. And we, we definitely stay very well connected with these communities and we can benefit from this previous experience. We also have a wave of Polish professionals who are very well educated, who speak many languages and who have already this, um, uh, they are poised for growth and uh, they, they, they feel equal to any, any other European person. But Eastern and Central European high flyers are not just working in the city. Entrepreneurs are also finding a home for their skills and talents in the capital. Alpha Energy, an energy cost management company, was set up in 1995 by Daimir Ahamovic and his brother. It now employs more than 70 people globally. As entrepreneurs, we employ people and we stimulate the economy, we create jobs. What you really want to do is to have the least amount of barriers to entry to be able to, to transact and to be able to add value to, to the economy. Um, London is one of those places, and I've learned that the hard way. We've got enough empirical evidence to suggest that it's quite easy to do business here because those barriers to entry have been removed a long time ago. We started a business here uh, 17 years ago with absolutely no money, no connections, and almost no language being spoken and London enabled us to do that. London is a city of choice for many Eastern and Central European high flyers, for now. But many have proven themselves to be highly resourceful and adaptable. It remains to be seen whether the city can hold on to them should their home economies continue to grow at a faster clip than that of the UK. Marsh Sadarevich, Financial Times.